Hey there everyone. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up Krita, our painting app, uh, for reference images. We will end up with an image that can be printed on 8.5 by 11 and we will also introduce the grid system so that way you can draw something with a reference photo uh, of anything you'd like. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay so the first thing you want to do is when you open up Krita you'll notice that by default when Krita uses multiple images, they open up in tabs like this. So you can see up here that I'm clicking on the tabs and I'm going between these two photos. We don't want that. Um, and the reason why is that when you're drawing from a reference image, um, you need to see both images at the exact same time. So what you need to do is you need to go up here to your Krita menu, choose preferences, and you want to stay under the general category and you want to go here to the window tab and right here where it says multiple document mode you want to change that to sub, sub windows excuse me click on OK and then you need to go ahead and quit out of Krita actually it looks like it took it right there there we go um, you might actually have to uh, quit out of Krita and then restart it again but it looks like on mine I did not have to, so that's cool. Uh, so now what you can see is that uh, I've got my two documents here and they've got free floating windows, which some people like, some people don't. Um, but now we can actually see both images at the same time. So that's a step in the right direction. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close these now because these were for my demonstration. And the next thing I'm gonna do is show you how to make sure that your photograph, your reference image, is set up properly uh, to be printed when you're all done with your image, okay? So I'm gonna start by going here to start a new file, and I'm gonna change my width and height to inches. All right, so let's say the scenario is I'm gonna stick with standard paper here, so I'm doing 11 inches wide eight and a half inches high and I want a decent good resolution so I'm going to stick with 300 so that way when I'm all done uh, painting this it is printable and I'll click on create okay so there's my canvas now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my desktop and you can simply just drag Krita off to the side until you see your folder and so here's the image that I'm going to be using. And if I drag and drop it right in onto the canvas and let go, I'm going to choose insert as new layer and let go. And there we go. Okay, so there's my photograph and you can see the photograph is actually uh, larger uh, than the canvas. That's fine. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Okay, so now to resize the photograph uh, manually, I'm going to come over here on the left-hand side, and I'm going to click on this tool right here that's called the Free Transform Tool. And when you do that, you now should see, let me zoom out a little bit more, you now can see how much bigger the photograph is compared to the uh, canvas. And you'll see you've got these little control handles going around. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to put your mouse pointer over one of the four corners. Now, if you notice, my top left corner of my photograph is already matched up with the top left corner of my photograph, or of my canvas, sorry. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to resize from the bottom right hand corner. That's the corner that's going to be moving, okay? Um, so I'm going to put my mouse pointer over it until I see that double arrow. There we go. Then I'm going to hold down the shift key on the keyboard and I'm going to left mouse click and drag in until I see that it matches up. Now we run into an interesting little issue here. So I'm going to go ahead and get it so that the right side matches up and there we go. Okay, so you'll notice that I do have a little bit of a margin down here at the bottom. I can take the photograph and I can just move it I can move it down if I want. I can move it all the way down. It's just more of the table and the photograph. 
if I move it all the way down, um, I could mimic more of the uh, wall or the sky right there, or I could maybe compromise and just split it right in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, my photograph is now resized. This is 11 inches wide, eight and a half high, 300, so I know it's the right resolution. So now I want to save this. So I'm going to do file save. Uh, on a Mac, I'm going to go find uh, my home folder. I'll double click on my desktop folder and I'll go to my still life project folder and I'll go ahead and I'll probably call this something like still life reference. Uh, and I'll say yes, replace the old one, and there we go. Okay, I'm going to take a quick break, and then when I come back from the break, we'll go ahead and we'll set this up with a brand new blank canvas and the grid system so that we can go ahead and actually start um, drawing this. All right, we're back. Okay, so I've got my reference photo loaded here. I now need a new canvas to actually start doing this still life. So I'm just going to do File, New. Um, and right here, it's gone back to pixels, but just double check and make sure that in inches it all works out. Again, same settings, 11 inches wide, eight and a half high, 300 for the resolution, create. And there's that right there. Okay, so I need to be able to uh, basically see both images at the same time. And you'll recall um, that we changed the way Krita displays multiple images. So up here in the top right, I've got the three um, classic little buttons here, the X, so I can close the image, the um, uh, middle button here so I can um, unlock it and, and float the window. That's what I'm going to do. And then the minimize. So if I minimize it, you'll see that it minimizes and it goes down here. Uh, and there it is again. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and go back. So I want to click on this middle button here, and that way it brings it back here to a, a small window. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and manually drag it out. It does not matter which side your reference photo is, left or right. That's all personal preference. All right, so I'm going to have the reference photo on the left-hand side. I generally like to make my... Uh, blank canvas a little bit larger the window uh, because that's the one that I'm actually going to be working in. Okay, so um, this isn't ideal um, but um, this, this certainly works. Okay, so what I'm going to do is hopefully Krita doesn't have an issue with this. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm just panning, um, and you pan by holding down the spacebar and dragging. Okay, so let's turn on the grid and see what we've got here. So the way that you bring up the grid is you come up here to the uh, settings menu, and under settings, you're going to go down here to dockers, um, and under dockers, you're going to go down here and choose grid and guides. And when you do that, it will show up uh, down here in the bottom right hand corner typically. So there's a little checkbox here, show grid. We want to enable that. And you'll see that it only turns on the grid for whichever image you are clicked on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on my photograph and do show grid. And you'll see that the grid is really, really, really small. And that's because over here, you'll see that the numbers X spacing and Y spacing, the default says 20 pixels, and that's really small. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little trial and error here. I'm going to bump it up to 100 pixels. And when you bump it up on one of them, it, it bumps it up on the other one because they are uh, connected. Okay, so I'm looking over at the grid spaces over here, and I kind of want them to be a little bit larger, so I'm going to try 200. Okay, so 300 is looking pretty good. So I think I'll settle on something like 300. Yeah, maybe maybe somewhere between 300 and 400 for this one. 
Um, maybe try 350. Um, what I'd like to do is if you notice the grid over here, I don't know if you can see it in my recording, is I'd like to actually get it so that the grid lines up evenly, if that's possible, um, so I don't have a half grid space over here. Okay, so here's how I'm going to finish it out here. Um, so I want the grid spaces to be perfectly even. You can see on the bottom here I have this little leftover grid space here. And so to figure that out, if I go back up here to File New, and if I look at the height, my height of this canvas is uh, 2550. And let's say I decide I want to have an even number of grid squares on the height. And let's say I'm going to choose 10, 10 grid spaces. That would make it nice and even. Let's make the math easy here. So if I go ahead and I take 2550 and I divide that by 10, that's 255. So if I now come over here to the X spacing and change that to 255 pixels, each one of these grid spaces is 255 pixels by 255 pixels. And so that works out perfectly for the height. I now have 10 perfect grid spaces um, going vertically along my um, photograph here. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so now I'll come over here to my other canvas and to make sure I type in the same thing, 255. And so now it matches up. Okay. So the key here is this. We have to make sure that we're in the same zoom setting in both images so that way um, it matches just fine. So on my photograph here, this looks like a pretty comfortable zoom setting. And if I look down here in the bottom right hand corner of Krita, it says that I'm at 50% zoom level. So now I'm going to click over here on my blank canvas and I'm going to go ahead and choose 50%. And so I can come over here and I can type in the number 50%. And there it is. And again, I'll pan. And there we go. So if you look now, now I can compare. So what I can do is I can say, OK. And actually, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more. OK. Okay, and let's see, if you ever want to make sure that your grid lines are easier to see, uh, you can actually do that down here uh, in your grid spacing. So you'll notice that my grid spacing, or sorry, my grid um, here, it's gray with a gray background, so that's really difficult to see. So just come back over here in your grid spacing, and you can see it says main style lines, and it's this grayish color. I can go ahead and change that to any color I want. Um, so maybe I'll choose, you know, bright green or maybe a turquoise blue, bright again to be able to see. Okay, so that might, you know, work out a little bit better. Again, it's a little tough to see. Um, there's a second set of lines called dashed. Um, again, I'll make those brighter. Hopefully the screen recording can pick that up. There we go. That's a little bit better. Sometimes you do have to zoom in. Um, to be able to see it. There we go. So, so now in the recording you should be able to see it and now you can make out the squares. One, two, three, four, all that kind of good stuff. Um, okay, so the way that I'm going to do this now, and I'm going to finish up because I'm coming up on 15 minutes here, is that now you can see, okay, if we're looking at this and we see that one, two, three, four, so in the fourth square, that's where my subject is starting to come into uh, the screen. So I would come back over here and I would zoom in the exact same amount. So let's see, I'm at 141% zoom. So if I come over here and I type in the same amount, 141, I can make sure that I'm zoomed in the exact same amount. There we go. So now I just need to pan until I find the exact same spot. And there we go. Okay, so there's my one, two, three, four, and in this fourth one, that's the exact same grid spot. So there we are. 
So now I can set up my brushes and I can start brushing in. And as long as I reference these, um, everything should match up. I should have the right proportions. Everything's going to come out to the right size. Um, it might seem a little clunky at first, but I truly believe this is the best way to set up reference images for drawing everything from still life um, to characters, um, landscapes, you name it. Um, and this is the way that uh, Krita will work well for you. So good luck, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.